You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. We're rounding out the three Boba Fetts, uh, the comic art, the vintage comic edition. And uh, we're finishing up with the uh, quote-unquote Kenna Colors um, Boba Fett. So it's a modern modern Boba Fett, like the other two that we've uh, just taken a look at over the last couple of days. But with the classic Kenna Color spin, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, obviously going back to the sort of the original sort of retro uh, vintage style Boba Fett card, just Boba Fett written on it. He is VC275. Some other figures in the line. Yeah, this again, like I mentioned with the other two, these are figures that I sort of put aside and uh, wasn't going to in initially when they were released. I wasn't planning on getting them, but just as time went on, I've decided, now nah, look, I'm going to add these to the collection. So I'm pretty excited to uh, round out the set. Um, I reckon next week I'm going to take a look at Pretty much as many of the Boba Fetts I can find in my collection. <laughs> we do a little bit of an overview, um, just because he's awesome. And um, yeah, it's a video I've done before, but I've got many more Boba Fetts in the collection since then. Without further ado, let's bust this one open and have a look. All right, here is the uh, the Fett man himself in all his canary coloured goodness. And yeah, I'll, I like the appeal of this figure, except he doesn't stand up. <laughs> it's just. It's not the most stable of tables. So what I'm going to do, we're going to start off with the stand. Uh, you know, Kessel Run stands. This is what I use now, predominantly, as much as I can. So I'm going to get, get that foot on the peg. And now he won't fall over at all. Accessory-wise, it is E33. Sort of Return of the Jedi style. Which is cool. I like this version better than the uh, Empire one. It's sort of a softer plastic, but it's fine. You know, it's I'm, I'm not a big fan of that, but it's all right. Once it's sort of posed up in his hands, it'll be okay. Uh yeah, paint applications kind of cool on this figure. You know, they've they've done a done a great job picking out the colors to really match. The vintage version, um, you know, the vintage versions definitely had some variations depending on what factory, what country they're orig originating from. Um, so I have brought in a retro Boba Fett. So this is the retro collection um, one. So they've, they've closely got it. I think it looks fine. They've got all the right sort of colors. Added the, uh, obviously, the green of the sort of the codpiece armor there. They've sort of added that on. But even going as far as to, uh, you know, differentiate the bits on the wrists. The jetpack with the red rocket, which is cool. So even the, the placement of the paint on the jetpack, that's nice. And yeah, down to the wrists. So I like it. Even the uh, helmet sort of got that sort of. Well, I like that they kept the visor black, but it's sort of that sort of olive green brown sort of color on the cheek cheeks, and the red and that sort of maroon. I like the effect that they've added it to the back of this figure. It just adds a little bit more. So yeah, I just wanted to put these two side by side, just to get a look. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice bold, I don't know, I like the colours, the yellow, the green, especially stands out. And you can't really see it in the light, but there is a little bit of bleeding in the gap there. And you can't really see it all that well. So I'm wondering even if I just... Scratch it out a little bit, it might clean it up, but it's barely noticeable to the naked eye. It's only because I'm sitting and staring at it so close. But again, almost true to Kenner form, you know, these they were made, you know, imperfect most of the time. 
One thing I might be tempted to do is get rid of the Wookiee pelts, the sort of the braids there on the shoulder, but yeah, well, it does leave a little hole in the armor, so I'll probably just leave it there. It's not hurting. But we all know this sculpt has been used a few times now on Boba Fett, um, and I dig it. I think it's perfect. I, the only thing I'd love to add, and I've spoken about it in a few videos now, is the uh, the rangefinder. Um, Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett is due for an upgrade. I would love them to use this mold as a template for a new Empire Strikes Back. Obviously, a few minor changes throughout the figure, such as the belt, slightly different from Empire Strikes Back. But this one does look pretty cool. The jetpack is removable, but unlike some of the more recent versions of Boba Fett and Cobb Vanth, like from the Book of Boba Fett, doesn't have the uh, the pegs in the bottom for the flame effects, and the rocket is in piece in one piece. It's not removable, but that's okay. Also, this one is without its soft goods, like the last one we took a look at. That one didn't have soft goods either. That was obviously just a uh, creative choice for the uh, stylization of the figure, given that this one shows, you know, even the Canna version, shows no sign of any sort of poncho or cape. So that's fine. They stuck to their guns there and stayed true to it, which I appreciate. Almost tempted to just give him like a E11 Stormtrooper blaster <laughs> just to sort of replicate that sort of Kenner, Kenner blaster he has. I'm just trying to get this one in his fingers. It's trying, trying to. It's really hard sort of with a camera and stuff in between, but there we go. We could just give him the uh, retro blaster there as well. Just like the real thing, doesn't want to hold it. So no, I won't be doing that. That's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. I think he looks good. I dig it. Be nice to actually get them all together and take a nice group shot of almost an evolution of Boba Fett. A few different versions from the Animated debut to the prototype, all white. Some of the comic book versions and, you know, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I'm going to do my video, I might even throw in some of the more modern Boba Fett's from his own series. Uh, articulation, might as well go through and talk about that again. Uh, yeah, just the ball joint in the neck, in the head, ball hinges in the shoulders, elbows, swivels at the wrists, ball hinges in the hands, both up and down. You have that joint in the torso, but the ball hinges in the hips, swivels at the thighs, ball hinges in the knees, ball hinges in the ankles, and a rocker in the feet. Just to get that nice bit of movement. But yeah, I like the look of this one. They did the same with the Black Series, but that one was really hard to come across. So I'm happy to have this one in the collection. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up for the uh, Boba Fetts for the time being. But yeah, definitely stay tuned. Because I will do a bit of a, a group a group sesh. We'll take a look at a bunch of Boba Fetts all together. I think that'll be cool. So I appreciate you checking it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you again for some more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.